Well, hello, gang. Geezer here. Welcome back for those of you coming back. Glad to have you if you're new. <clears throat> Today is my first day back in the wood yard, back in the woods even, since my ACDF surgery. In my follow-up, the doctor told me, or the PA told me, uh, to limit my lifting to 20 to 25 pounds for a while. And I don't have any clue what, in medical terms, for a while means. So it's been two weeks. I've been working around the house in the garage, doing things up there that needed doing, and working under the house on the plumbing and different things. So I figure for a while's over. We're back out here. The goal today, it's already hot and humid. So I don't know how long I'm going to be out here. <clears throat> Since my surgery, I haven't got my stamina built back up yet. Them two weeks of sitting in the house and doing nothing just ruined me. Made me an old softy. I got to get back to doing. But today's goal, I want to pull this old pine log down off the hill, off the log pile here. It's wedged in there pretty good. <clears throat> so I got the cable to the winch on the mule. I'm going to start the mule up here and see if we can pull it off and whatever else was to come with it. That was part of the old pine that was up to neighbors that was standing dead. And when I did the top half, it didn't want to split up real well. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do with this bottom half, I'm going to pull it off, and I'm just going to cut it up into hunks. And throw it in the scrub bin, and we'll use it in the boiler. It'll burn fine in the boiler. So I think I'm going to saw it up in between, on each side of where all the branches were and just split it up. However it splits, we don't care because uh, I'll throw it in. When I stack the 29 inch pieces of log in the back of the boiler, there's always that space in the front and I always throw a bunch of scrub wood in there. So it'll work fine for that. So <clears throat> I got some chainsaws and this mule. If I can get it down here without causing too much damage, then we'll try and chainsaw it up. So we'll start to mule up and get the hoist pulling and see what happens. Well, that went pretty well. Didn't pull nothing else down or rolled right off. Let's see, everything else seems, looks pretty stable. Let's see what it looks like here. Oh yeah, that's all rock solid. That ain't going nowhere. Yeah, good. Everything's good. Yeah. So we'll pull this out away from the pile a little bit here, maybe, and see if we can get to cutting. Oh yeah, this is all in there good. This ain't going nowhere. Get this old pine log cut up. Then I can probably start go back down over the hill and start working on that big maple and bring some logs up here and add them to the pile. Maybe get a few, maybe cut up a couple of these small ones for the woodshed yet. I still got a little room put some more in for the winter. <laughs> Whoop, it's pulling the mule. Step on the brake here. The parking brake ain't enough, I guess. Nope. The oh, winch ain't got enough. Let's see if we can back up the mule a little bit. Nope. Hey, what we're going to have to do then is uh, we'll get a little slack here. Cable's all pulled down inside itself there. What we have to do is we'll pull this cable around to try and get it to roll. If it ain't, oh, it ain't laying on the cable. So, see if we can get the cable to wrap around it a time or two here.
Now we'll see if that'll help. We can get it to roll a little bit. Got to get room for my chainsaw in there if I can. Wonderful. I love it when a plan comes together. I think I need me a cigar. George Papard style. For those of you too young to know, George Papard ran the original A-Team. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do just fine. Get the cable off here. Maybe. Where is it? Where's the connection? Maybe the cable's going to stay on for life, huh? Yeah, let's see what we can do here. We'll find it. It's under here somewhere. There it comes. Unhooked. Now we'll wind up the winch cable. No, this is boring winding up winch cable. Boring for me too. But now yeah. there we go. That job's done. Shut the mule back off. We'll just leave it set right here. It ain't hurting a thing. Put the remote in there. Get a little drink here. Then we'll start cutting on this. On the off chance that in medical terms for a while means more than two weeks. I looked it up. The weight on my 440 Husqvarna is supposed to be 17 pounds. So, that's under the 20 to 25, they said. Or she said. So, we'll see. If the 440 won't get the job done, I got the 465 sitting in there. But that's a heavy dude. I don't only use that when I really need to. See if we can get this baby to start up here easy today. Maybe warm up a minute and we'll start cutting and see what happens. I think we'll start from this end that's up in the air. We'll work easy to hard. I'll take my phone out. I need to get a bunch of chips over it. See if we can button this pocket over the microphone resender. Let's just see how it goes here.
think I'm going to whip out the 465. Yeah, a little something, a little bigger, a little stronger. This baby's over 20 pounds, I'm pretty sure. But we'll see what we can do here. Been a while since I started this one. seconds to warm up there a bit. I need a drink.
Ah, ran out of gas. 465 is good, but you don't get good mileage on Joe's gas. This is hard to start when it's warm. My other 440 was too. I know what the deal is with them. But I think it's time to rest a minute anyway. Whew. It's a good way to get back in shape, huh? Good gravy. Now I got one, two little cuts to finish. <clears throat> and then I think I'll cut up this little log in 29 inch lengths and line all this up for the splitter. Ah, boy, hot and humid. Ah, I don't know. Let me see what time it is. Need to make it to at least noon. It's now only 10.13. So, Even doing around the chores around the house, I was only able to go about four, four and a half hours. I'd have to quit, so. But it's getting longer. Yesterday I made it to 1.30, but I took a pretty significant lunch break. I don't know, about 45 minutes, I guess. I sit there and did nothing. Oh. This little log, I can cut up with the battery saw. It's little enough. And then see if I can get all this stuff lined up for the splitter. <clears throat> and if I gin, I can get that much done today. Then tomorrow, I got a little trailer up here I'm going to bring over. Or maybe I'll bring the big one, I don't know. You split up this pine into however it wants to split. Take it up, put it in the scrub bin. But. So, this is the first day back in the woods. <laughs> first day back in the woods. I think I got a pretty good start. I need to start remembering to bring the gas and oil out for the saws with me when I come out. Especially if I'm going to use the 465 because it don't get good gas mileage, but it cuts good. So, and you can tell taking a couple of weeks off, I, several of them I cut crooked. And that was on me. Wasn't it, wasn't it the chain was too sharp on one side, I don't think. I think it was just me the way I was holding it. Forgot how to hold a chainsaw. Two weeks off, forgot, forgot how to work in the woods. Have to relearn everything. I did have to kind of learn to rewalk, regrip. So I'm still working on all that. I don't know what it's going to be like after my back surgery. It might be a real mess. I might try and stall that off for a while. Okay. You know what to do, poke the buttons, the like, which is the thumbs up, you thinking? The subscribe if you haven't, the share, all that good stuff, I appreciate it. Help me out, help me grow. And then, until the next time, this is the geezer saying, see ya.